The DeFi world is crazy and every single day it seems like it's getting crazier and crazier and I'm wondering where the limit is. So in this video I'm going to tell you about a new crypto project which is called Snowblock and it is interesting because the APY that they were offering originally was so high that people didn't even know how to read this number. On top of that this number didn't even fit into this space on the website where it was supposed to fit. This is a very new project, it's only about 10 days old and a lot of people are wondering whether it's a scam or not. So in this video I'm going to point out some red flags and also some good signs and at the end of the video I'm going to tell you my opinion on whether it's a scam or not and whether I'm going to invest into Snowblock or I'm not. So if you are interested to hear this information, then please keep watching this video. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anastasia. On this channel I talk about investing and especially investing for beginners. This video is going to be about cryptocurrency and it will be a part of my cryptocurrency playlist. This channel though is not only about cryptocurrencies. I talk about investing and passive income and money in general, but cryptocurrency is such a mainstream right now and it's so trendy that I am constantly afraid to miss out on the opportunity to make some money so I'm constantly searching for the new project because I want to be one of those people who get into something early. So this is how I came across Snowblock but uh, before investing into it I decided to look at it a little bit more and find some more information. So if you are already watching this video I assume that you've heard about OM and Olympus DAO. This is also a relatively new project but a lot of people have invested into it including myself and they've seen good results so the trust to this project is growing day by day. And Snowblock is apparently a fork of Olympus DAO. And if you are watching this video, if you've already heard about Snowblock and if you've heard about OM, then I assume you know what a fork is and you realize this is um, not a cooking class video and we're not talking about cutlery. So fork in crypto world is like a copy of um, another cryptocurrency. So every cryptocurrency has a code, it was coded someone. So someone can just copy the code of the main cryptocurrency. So so in our situation it's OM and then make some very little changes, uh, give it another name and here you are, you have another cryptocurrency. So Snowblock is the fork of OM and you can see that it is very similar by going onto the website and entering the app. If we compare how the Snowblock app looks to how Olympus DAO and other forks of Olympus DAO look, you will see the similarities, they're basically the same, it's just the background picture that is different and obviously the APYs and and numbers. The front page of the actual Snowblock website is actually quite different to Olympus Dell, but it is a spitting image of Avalanche Network. And if you don't know what an Avalanche Network is, again, if you've got so far in cryptocurrency world and you already searched for some keywords to find this video, I assume you know what an Avalanche Network is. But if for some reason you don't, it is a network just like Ethereum Network, which is the main network nowadays. Um, but the gas fees, so the fees for every transaction on Ethereum Network are expensive. And that's why uh, people created other networks which work exactly the same way as Ethereum network but the fees are much cheaper. So Avalanche is one of those networks and if you want to invest into Snowblock it has to be done on the Avalanche network. So instead of exchanging Ethereum for Snowblock you have to exchange the currency that is native to Avalanche network which is called AVAX for the Snowblock coins. I hope this makes sense. And so Avalanche Network itself has a website and if you compare now these two websites, the official website of Avalanche Network and the website of Snowblock, you will see that this is a spitting image 
of this website. On top of that, the main picture, this funky cube on the website of Snowblog, has been taken, has been stolen from a Robin Hood Learning Academy. And this is where you can find it. You can Google Robin Hood Learn Academy certificate of deposit and you will see this picture there. So let's think again about what we have so far. We have a website that looks exactly the same as another website, Avalanche Network. We have the main picture on the landing page that was stolen from a Robin Hood website. And we have the app that the code to which was copied completely from Olympus Down. So what is this project? There is nothing of their own that they created. They just copied things from different places. I mean, I understand if you say that something is a fork, you just copy the code and then you do some changes. But seriously, you cannot even change the image. You cannot create your own image. So you end up stealing one from Robin Hood. Um, if you think that a serious project could do something like that, mm, leave your thoughts in the comments. Do you really think a serious project could do something like that? Because I don't think so. On top of that, before investing into Snowblock, we have to go to their documents and check what information they give us there. And the funny thing is when we start reading the paragraph about how we can buy the SB, they tell us that we need to go to tradejo.xyz, which is just an exchange platform, just like PancakeSwap or Uniswap. This is the place where you can apparently exchange your AVAX coins for SB. So once you click on that link, you are taken to the swap page, but the coin that you are swapping your AVAX to is not SB, it is TIME. And TIME is another fork of OMP, and even though it is also relatively new, it is a much more popular fork that is also built on Avalanche Network. So in my opinion, what happened here, they copied the link from the TIME Wonderland website without even bothering to change it. Again, do you think a serious project would do something like that? I don't think so. Some people think that the reason of why a Snowblock website is a spitting image of Avalanche Network is because Avalanche Network themselves created this coin to grab some attention to their network because even though Avalanche Network is growing, it is not growing fast enough and there are a lot of people who think that they are struggling. I also think they're struggling even though they take about 3% of the total value of transactions on the market but 3% comparing to about 65 to 70% of the total value of transactions that take place on the Ethereum network is very little. 3% might be enough for the bull market which we are in right now, but as soon as the bear market starts and people start withdrawing their money from cryptocurrency altogether, networks such as Avalanche will struggle. So the theory is they created the snow block and they created this absolutely crazily high APY to attract investors, especially new investors who don't quite understand how this high APY works and those people who are chasing the idea of getting rich fast. So this is where Snowblock comes from. I had to tell you about this theory because it exists, but I honestly don't believe in this theory. And even though theoretically they could create um, a different currency, I don't see the point in them stealing the image and copying their own website when there are so many other websites that they could copy. I honestly think this is someone from a side who copied stuff from different places hoping that no one will be able to find the original versions of the website, of the app, of the image in different places. Talking about the developers of Snowblock, of course they are unknown, which is the case for the majority of the new projects. And if you go on their Twitter, you will see that there are only positive news, of course, and they are still not listed on CoinGecko, and they say that's because CoinGecko doesn't believe that such a small project could become so successful in such a short period of time. You also see that their total value locked is already $150 million, and they also call the as be the decentralized reserve currency. So what's the difference here between OM and Snowblock? Nothing. Now let's talk about the APY because this is the main selling point of Snowblock. At the start of the project, the APY was so high that people couldn't read this number. I honestly don't know what this number is either. It's like 
trillions of trillions of return on investment that you could get over one year. Now, 10 days later, after the launch of the project, the APY has come down and now it is only 339,000 and it changes every day, even several times during the day. So check it for yourself because it is quite possible, most likely, that by the time you are watching this video, the APY will be different. But the change of the APY is a good thing. It's one of very few good things that I could find about this project. Because if someone guarantees you the APY over the course of the year, that is definitely a scam. There is no doubt about that because no APY can be guaranteed. And the APY depends on the price of each coin. So the higher the price is, the lower the APY will get and vice versa. But at the end of the day, the APY is the illusion because APY doesn't matter. What really matters is the price of each coin. And if the APY is millions and trillions, but the price of the coin goes down faster than the returns that you get from your APY, well, then there is absolutely no point. Another thing about the constantly changing APYs is today you start staking and you get this much return on investment, but tomorrow it gets two times smaller and then what? And this is exactly what happened over the course of 10 days, the APY has gone down from a super high number to the number that we can at least read and that fits into the space for the APY. So let me tell you my conclusion. For me, this is the project that I am not going to participate in because I don't trust it enough. There are too many red flags and I personally think it is a scam. I cannot be sure and we usually find out post factum unfortunately like what happened with Squid Game token. We can watch videos on my channel. So many people got scammed and it doesn't really matter. Even if you decide I'm gonna put $10 into it and see what happens, it's $10, it's still money. And the developers of this scam will get that money. $10 for nothing, 10, 100, even $1, doesn't matter. As long as people believe in scams, scammers will exist. But of course, I cannot be sure. But as I said, considering all the facts that I mentioned in this video, I think this project is not real. It's not serious, that's for sure. Now, what is going to happen with this project and what sort of a scam, if it is a scam, the developers are planning? I don't know. Whether people are going to get rug pulled, I mean hard rug pulled, like what happened with Squid Token when the whole website and everything just disappeared over one day, um, I don't know. Whether it is going to be a soft rug pull when the developers are going to manipulate the price and take the profits little by little. If I had to guess, and this is just my guess, it's not based on any facts whatsoever, I think someone created this project um, just to look what's going to happen. And it is possible that even the developers don't know themselves what their future steps are. Because I guess they will just look at how the project grows, and if it grows fast enough, then I guess there will be no real reason for them to withdraw the profits, because by soft rug pulling they will manipulate the price anyway, and you know, will make them reach very fast. And in this situation there will be no real reason to shut the project completely and just take all the money out because then they'll have to hide from the police and then they will have to create something like that again in the future. But if it doesn't grow fast enough, then I guess this is what's going to happen. So this is my prediction. Let's wait and see what's going to happen in the future. But I don't see much difference between the Squid Game token that has taken the Squid Game series, which is a very trendy idea. So they used the name the Squid Game, knowing that people will invest into this token just because it's called Squid Game. So how is this different when they take OM, which is a very popular at the moment and a very trendy crypto coin, and create something which is so similar to OM, call themselves the fork of OM, knowing that this is what people are searching for. And when they see that this is the fork of Olympus DAO, they will trust this coin just because it is a fork of Olympus DAO. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. I might be wrong, uh, but I don't think I am. Thank you very much for your time and attention today, and I hope to see you soon in my next videos. Bye-bye.